Hi guys, Bella here for another weekly weigh-in. Um, I think this is my week seven weigh-in and um, not a great one to report this week, but I'm just kind of going to go with the flow and move on. So this morning when I weighed in, I was 302.4, which is actually a three pound gain. And um, really, there aren't any excuses. I got a little cocky. I thought, oh, you know, this Halloween candy won't, won't affect me. I, I lost so much last week. I can do it again this week. You know, no problem. I'll work out tomorrow. Well, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, and I never did go to work out. Um, my foot, the plantar fasciitis um, pain in the heel is kind of flared back up. Um, and I mean, I just didn't feel like going. I could have gone for... Um, Swimming, I definitely, there's other exercises I can do that I don't need to put any pressure on my foot, but I just was lazy. I was lazy. I gave in to the time of the month uh, craving for sweets and chocolate, and it was Halloween week. It was a super long week. Um, just like everyone I talked to, including my students, were all just saying, gosh, this week is so long. Um, so anyway, not an excuse, but that's just the facts, and I'm just going to like dust off and move on. Um, this week I plan to do better. And uh, starting with drinking water, because like last week I was really bad about it. Um, I, if I got in four glasses a day, I was it was good, uh, which is not very good. And like I said, no working out. I also really wasn't on um, my fitness pal. I, I guess because I didn't want to put in the candy, um, which is pretty stupid because so what, you know, I did eat it. It's not like I'm, who am I hiding from um, on there? Everyone's so supportive and everything, just like people on here. So really, who am I hiding stuff from? I don't know. Anyway, I really appreciated the lady, um, my consultant, Sherry, at Jenny Craig, because she was saying, you know, there's a reason you felt so much hungrier. Because I was telling her I was just so hungry all week long. I always, I just, when I got home from school, I had you know, eaten a couple hours before, but I felt like ravenous when I got home. And the, you know, pre-done snack just didn't seem to cover it. And, you know, so I went for the Halloween candy that I had bought to give out to my classes and to the kids that came, trick-or-treaters and stuff. But um, she said, you know, it's because when you have your period, you actually, your body is burning more calories. And I, I don't, I never knew that. Like, I always knew that, um, Sometimes when I had my period, I would lose more weight that week, depending. It just depended, kind of. Sometimes I would actually lose more weight. I would have a big drop once I got the period. Um, and I didn't realize that it was actually your body burning more calories. And so that's, like, why you might also be more hungry and stuff. So um, that was kind of interesting to find out this morning. But she was, I mean, she was great. She was just saying, you know, now that you know that this is what happens. And she kind of, it was really cool because she did a little chart for me as well, like, of my losses and then the little blips that were like gains and stuff and she said you know like the first four weeks it was like loss 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 up a little and then loss 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 up a little and guess what they coincide with the weeks that I have my period so knowing this it's kind of like okay the next time I have it I can definitely um plan for it a little bit more and you know maybe give myself um okay have have a little more as a snack, have a little extra, but not like go crazy. And maybe like she said, you know, it's not completely compliant with Jenny Craig, but what she does, like she'd buy a couple extra bags of, um, like they have the little mini bags of like toffee cookies or something and they're crunchy, but they're sweet. And she said, you know, I'd, I think it comes with six in a bag. And she said, you know, I'd have like two or three each night in addition to whatever else her snack was or whatever. And it just gave her that little extra bit of sugar and um, crunch and sweet that helped keep her satisfied and made her feel like she was adding a little something. And really negligible calories if you think about one bag I think is like 130 calories and so if you're eating like a third of the bag or something, I mean not bad in terms of calories and easy to burn off um, especially on that week so I think I might do that the next time I really do um, the other thing that I don't think I told you guys last week I want to keep this short but I do want to tell you this I was I've been really concerned about how I was going to pay for Jenny Craig just because it is really expensive it's literally just the Jenny food itself is $500 a month and then it's about another I would say about $40 a week more for like the produce um, um, the vegetables, the fruit, and the, like, yogurts and cheese and all that, like, cottage cheese, all that stuff to supplement. 
Um, so we're talking about like another, so what is that, 620-ish dollars a week, I mean a month, which is a lot for one person. I mean, that's a lot. And that's much more than my budget really can afford um, on my teacher's salary. And so I was getting really stressed out because Jenny Craig was really working, is really working for me. And, but I didn't know how it was going to continue it. Um, and I wanted to be able to continue it for the next couple of months so that I, I could lose the weight to qualify for the surgery, et cetera, et cetera. I was getting really stressed out. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And so finally I talked to my parents who are my biggest supporters, um, in life and in this weight loss journey. And, um, I told them the situation and they said, you know what, we can loan you the money. Um, we'll give you a thousand dollars, um, now and you could pay us back when you get because I get a stipend at the end of the school year and at the end of May um, I get actually I don't know, more than a thousand dollars like I think two or three times that much but um, that I could pay them back then I just don't you know so that I can just kind of like a loan right now um, and the nice thing is this this money first of all is such a nice thing for them to do like I'm so grateful to them but also it's just like a load off my mind because now I know that I can pay for Jenny Craig like through definitely through mid January because um you know I I can definitely afford to do like two weeks of Jenny Craig on my own um so if I do two weeks this month and I do two weeks next month plus the money they gave me actually that would carry me through February and I mean I should definitely already be at the goal weight having lost um well I guess now I'm back to needing to lose I think I was at 18 pounds last week, so I think now I need to lose, um, is it 21, I guess? Uh, but you know what? I can definitely lose 21 pounds in two months, two and a half months. Um, so, if especially if I really put my heart into it. Um, anyway, so that's, that's a great thing. I mean, that was like a huge weight off my mind, and it just kind of helps me feel like, okay, I got this. Like, I can do this, and there's really, now there really are no roadblocks in my way except for whatever's in my own mind, right? I mean, I, I can pay for it. I know that it's, I'm successful when I'm doing it. If I follow everything and get all my water and workouts and all that stuff in, and I don't deviate from the food, I mean, I know I will be successful. It's just a matter of when. So now it's like, come on, get myself in the game, right? So anyway, um, that was my great news. The other thing I just wanted to say is my heart goes out to everyone on the East Coast who's been affected by um, Hurricane Sandy. It is awful. The things that I like, Janine, without power for all this time, um, I, I couldn't even imagine. Like, I feel so lucky and blessed um, to be able to have a light on or you know have power in the evening and we're having such beautiful weather in in california right now in the bay area um and even if it was a little bit rainy like you know it's not a hurricane so um i know that i went on and texted the red cross um to donate my ten dollars and you know if you can and if you feel like you, sh you should i mean i would i would really appreciate if you guys also donated and if you're not comfortable with doing it via text. I mean, I know that there's a website that you can donate to. I think you can mail checks in. Um, you can go through iTunes. I know I saw that on the little telephone that they had. So, I mean, there's all different kinds of ways. There's also just donating to your local Red Cross, donating blankets or towels. And, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily go straight to the hurricane victims, but it goes to your local um, offices of the Red Cross. Because I know in my area, there's tons of people in need um, and although they haven't been affected by a hurricane, they're affected just by life, you know, in general. So, um, I think anything that we can give, even if it's just a little $10, you know, it does make a difference. So that's my plea to you that maybe after you watch this video, you'll text, um, Red Cross to 90999 or go on iTunes and donate or go on the Red Cross website and see how you can, um, donate your time even locally. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a great week, and I will see you next week with a loss. I am predicting it now, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.